you know what? I know I am. I know I am a jackass. I know it. I know I am. That's fine. But when a site that I supported for over a year made over 40 videos on my YouTube channel talking about how I think this site was awesome and then they do shit like this makes me feel like a the kind of jackass that I know I'm not. I'm a jackass, but I'm not this kind of a jackass. The site I am talking about is 99 gamers which if you know if you just if you watch any of my videos for the past year you might have even seen one of these 99 gamers update videos that I did hit your subscription box maybe even once maybe twice or maybe you watch them all the time they, they usually got decent views like the lowest viewed one had like 200 250 views so they're they, they did well okay and for the most part I enjoyed doing that because of the people sending me the stuff. Not because of the website. The website was just a hub. So you could say, hey, can I have this? And you're like, yeah, sure. Here, here, you can have it. Okay, here's some coins. That was pretty much it. If you do not know, let me, and let me start from the beginning. 99Gamers was a video game trading website and quote-unquote a community where you can go on there and trade your games with other users on the site. Now, I could trade, say I wanted to trade uh, Star Wars Battlefront on the site. I could trade it for 25 coins. That's their currency. They use uh, coins. I don't know why I'm quoting, but coins. So, you could trade that for 25 coins. You can even put the condition, like, is it like new? Is it good condition? Is it like just the disc? Is it like barely working condition? You could do pretty much anything there. So that worked, okay? You could put, a, put it up and then someone could buy it or even message you and say, hey, will you do 22 coins, you know, 20 coins? So you can kind of barter and stuff and then they'll buy it and then you have to ship it out and by the time they get it, you get your coins and then you can go and buy other stuff on the site, pretty much. Um, when I started, it was straight up just video games. It was video games, it was portable games, it was console games, it was old game, retro games. It was all kinds of games. And then a couple months later, and I started around April. A couple months later, around June or July, they added pretty much everything else. They added like antiques, books, movies. They added a bunch of other stuff that you can actually put up on the site. Posters, um, I don't know, flash drives, anything. You could pretty much put anything on that site at that point. So I thought that was a little weird, but I thought it was an okay expansion. It didn't really ruin from the whole gaming aspect because there was still tons of stuff to get for the next couple of months after they uh, decided to add that feature. Um, so that was a little weird. Then I heard that the community aspect got taken away randomly. And I don't know when this happened. I think this happened closer to when um, the, uh, the option to list anything, pretty much antiques, whatever. The forums got closed down randomly. And from what I've heard, the forums were actually quite busy, like you could actually use them quite a bit and there's people on there all the time and you could talk about like, hey, does anybody have this game or this game? I want to trade for this or this, I want Silent Hill on PS1 or whatever. So you can go on there and like talk to people and the community aspect was there until they took it away randomly. So I don't know why they took it away, I'm sure it was, you know, maybe cost effective. Uh, you can obviously tell that because I think right after the forums closed down, or maybe the same time, they also added an option where you can buy coins, like their virtual currency. You could buy coins, and you could buy like 10 coins for like fifth, uh, for like 8 bucks or something like that. So it wasn't like exactly a dollar a coin or something, but it was like 10% cheaper or something like that. Um, but that's not 10%, that's 20%, but whatever. You, you, you get my point. It was like cheaper. But, um, so the whole aspect of 99 gamers was slowly dying off it really was it was supposed to be like a community where you can go and trade games and then they added movies and all this stuff antiques and whatever then they took the community aspect down and then earlier this year it just started to really die out like i had 23 coins in my account for the last five months i would say I, maybe four months I, i'll give it four months there you go four months i would say since since the beginning of February, I had 23 coins. And I still had it the day they decided to close it down like a bunch of fucking pussies. Now, okay, 
I'm sorry, I, I, I've been, I was going throughout this video without cursing, and I had to curse, but sorry, I had to, I had to take it out. My frustrations, I, I have to whew, let it out, okay? A few months ago, the site start, start, started to die out, pretty much. Uh, no one was posting that much stuff, and when they did, they were posting like, Hey, I got Battlefield 4 for 50 coins! Yeah, okay, that's like a $10, $15 game at most. Uh, and it was always like the 360 version, which was like maybe even cheaper. Uh, I think Best Buy was selling that for $4 at one point. Uh, okay, here. Oh, $50? Oh, sold. Yeah, let me just pay for more coins, give 99 gamers some more money, and I'll do that. Which I did. I did once, only because I really wanted a game and I didn't have enough coins. And I was like, you know what? If I get this game, it, w it would be worth it. And I did get that game. I forgot what it was. But I spent like 18 bucks on pretty much uh, like a $50 game. So I was okay with that. But um, so I gave them money, which I, I really regret. You don't you don't understand how, how much I regret that. But at that point, I wasn't hating 99 Gamer. So I was like, yeah, okay, fine. You're, you're not screwing me over, so it's okay. I'm not getting screwed over. But anyway, the, starts, the site started to die out. People weren't using it that much earlier this year. And then a couple weeks ago, I would say early May, they decided... And I don't know why. They decided, you know what? We'll keep the website up. But you can't post anything new. You can't post anything. Nothing. Nothing new. Everything else was there from before they decided to do this. But you can't post anything new. Which completely destroyed the purpose of the site. Because you're not giving people money. You're giving them fake money. So why the fuck would anybody want to keep their trades up on a site that will be most likely dead in a week? But why would I like? I, why would I trade? Say I had Battlefield and I wanted to trade it for ten coins. Why would I ever do that? Considering by the time I get that ten coins, like a week later after I ship it and they get it and whatever, I won't be able to use it because most likely all the like ten ten coin trades will be gone because people have already taken them up or they've taken them off the site because they don't want to give up their game for pretty much nothing. So that made no fucking sense whatsoever. So I was just like, I was baffled. I was like, what the f What are they doing? They're keeping the website up. So obviously they're not that m much in trouble with money. So what's going, what the hell is going on? And then... Two days ago, actually, you know what, no, I should say, yeah, I would say two days ago, three days ago, let's say, because I could be wrong, I'll say three days ago, today is uh, March 27th, I think the 24th, maybe the 25th at around like 2 a.m., I could be wrong, I'm sorry if I get the the, the time wrong, 99 Gamers closed down, and I'm not talking about just 99 Gamers, the website, I'm talking about the Twitter account. The Facebook account. They also had a, an iTunes app called Tie-Dye, which is supposed to be kind of like Craigslist in a way, except it was an app on your phone. And that that was gone. You can't find any of this stuff anymore. Even, even though if you search up on Google, it looks like they're still up. Like if you search 99Gamers, you can still find like the site and stuff. But when you click it, it goes, nope, doesn't exist. They closed it down. And you know what? That did not work. They really thought they were going to get away from it. And I think the reason why they actually closed it down is because right before um, this happened, right before they closed it down, uh, someone on Reddit, which I'm going to link this subreddit, I'm going to definitely link it, even though I, I'm not a big fan of Reddit itself. Um, I'm going to link this because this is really great. Someone was even considering uh, going to legal action about this because some people had tons of coins. Like, tons. Someone had, like... 500 coins someone before they started to make it so you can't trade anymore people had like selling 180 coins for really cheap or selling 100 selling 90 selling 80 like i saw all these kind of co like coin values like please just buy my coins please <laughs> and no one was picking them up of course because everybody knew the site was either di dying or there was just nobody on the site to actually buy the coins but um yeah, I feel really bad for those people. Me, I only had 23, so it's not a big deal. I'm just, I'm just making this video to tell everybody out there what's going on with this 99 Gamer shit. But, okay, so 
there was a subreddit about we should take legal action. A lot of people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone even said, like, I found a lawyer that will actually take this case. And then immediately after that, boom, 99 Gamers is gone. Uh, they shut it down. They, you can't communicate with them ever again. Twitter's gone. Facebook's gone. Everything's gone. Their iTunes app is even gone. You know, any way you can leave a comment on a 99 Gamers thing, it's gone. It's gone. So if you wanted to take a screenshot of your account balance and stuff like that, I'm sorry, sadly, you can't. I can't even. So I can't even prove I had 23 coins. I definitely did. I definitely did. I know it to be a fact. But sadly, I can't prove that. A lot of people can't. And the people that had 200, 300, 400 coins, I think someone had 12,000 coins. Someone said that on Twitter, which I don't know if that's true or not. But someone said they had 12,000 coins. And if that's true, holy shit. Wow. That is 12,000 coins. That is a lot of games they traded in for no reason. They lost so much, if that was true. Even with people that have 50 to 100 to 200 to 300, that's a lot of stuff. That is approximately, for 300, that is approximately, that's like 30 copies of Battlefield 4 and 360, <laughs> if they're 10 bucks. Um, it, it's ridiculous. So, I'm making this video mostly to warn you guys. Video game trading sites, not all of them are really, 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 really good. Some of them are really, 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 really shit. And 99 Gamers was a scam. It maybe started off as just a trading website, like, hey, we have good intentions. But maybe someone took control over it. Maybe maybe last year when everything was added there, like, oh, you, you can add, like, you know, antiques and all that stuff. Maybe someone took it over. Maybe someone different was the controlling force of 99 Gamers at that point. Who knows? The site was popular. Before that stuff started happening, and then it just started dying out. They got rid of the forums, and then people started hating 99 Gamers. People made videos about, like, 99 Gamers is dead, 99 Gamers is dead, don't go to it, it's a shitty website. And me, I was just like, oh, I like it, I still like it, and now I'm the jackass. I mean, I've, I've always been a jackass, but I am the jackass now for even <sighs> saying, even when it was decent for saying it was decent at that point. Oh man, you don't you don't know how badly I want to do something. And there is legal action going on. I already typed in my name uh, through this uh, Google Doc. Again, if you were someone that was on 99 Gamers and you want to get some some you want to get something back from it. Sadly, you need a. You, it looks like you'll probably need a picture of your account that proves that you had coins in your account. But I'm going to link the subreddit, which leads to the Google Doc, where you can type in your name and all that stuff. I already did it. You should do it too. Uh, sadly, I had no picture, but I did it anyway, just to add my name to the list. So, uh, whatever lawyer that wants to tackle this case actually has like a, a nice list of people. Uh, sadly, no evidence from me because they decided to close it down like fucking dickheads. But uh, if you were a 99 Gamers user and you had coins and it just closed down, please, I. I urge you even if you didn't have a picture go and sign this uh this thing because this legal action form because fuck 99 gamers really screw them they're a bunch of fucking assholes i don't know who ran it actually i do know i don't know if i should put this picture up but someone found out the name of the guy that ran the site you know i am screw it. it's right here screw this guy screw him don't do anything don't don't like try to find out where he lives or something just don't do anything really just look at this name and know this guy this guy is a fuck this guy sucks i'm pretty sure it's a guy i could be wrong but um <laughs> this guy or girl or woman i should say seeing i'm saying guy or gal gal is the opposite of guy right yeah um this guy or gal is a shit screw this person um but for the most part what really makes me upset because I only had 23 coins if I had if I had 2,000 coins or something like that I would be fucking lipid I would be so mad I'll be I would be so angry and I feel so bad for everybody that had so many coins but what really pisses me off mostly is that it gives video game trading sites like leap trade and I'm sure there's other ones out there but leap trade is the one I'm thinking of because I use that a lot before I use 99 gamers uh, it gives them bad names because this is, the, I think, the second time one of these big video game trading sites went under by just 
the control of the people. They just said, yeah, screw it. Flick it and let's go. Flick it off and let's go. Turn off the off switch and uh, let's head out. Because I'm pretty sure Guzex, that happened with Guzex, right? I could be wrong. But I hear a lot of people talk about like, oh, first 99 game. I mean, first Guzex, now 99 gamers. I'm never using these sites again. I could be wrong. Maybe Guzex just went down because they didn't have money and they actually like, they actually told people, hey guys, we have to close it down. Like if that happened, then, you know, 99 gamers is way worse than Guzex. I, I, I can tell you that now. But it gives it bad, it, it gives trading sites like this a bad name. It really does. 99 gamers was getting really popular. It was. And then it just went, it was like, ooh, oh, there it goes. And it's gone. Because of terrible decisions. Because they said more is more, not more is less, they thought. Because they were like, let's sell antiques and movies and all this stuff. And let's get rid of the forums. Let's get rid of that. And let's focus on the trading aspect. Let's do that. And, and screw it. Let's be passive aggressive to people when we communicate with them. Which I heard is very true. If you actually communicated with them about stuff, they would be kind of passive aggressive about it. Which never really happened with me. It happened one time, kind of. But it really happened with me too much. Like, whenever I communicated with them, like... Hey, my account is locked out because I was late with shipping or something. Could you unlock it? They would. Um, but they were they were kind of passive aggressive from what I've heard. And, and they were really just not... They just were really... They were just bad at what they were doing. They really were. And they're terrible. And it sucks that Leap Trade will get a bad name from this now. And I'm sure they really won't. I'm sure people will just move. Actually, it probably will work out for Leap Trade because everybody that 99 gamers that wanted to actually trade stuff may just move over to Leap Trade and whatever other video game trading website is out there. I think there's actually one someone linked me a few days ago. I can't remember. I wish I could remember right now. If I remember, I'll put it right here. Um, that's supposedly really, really good. Um, and it actually uses real money too, so you won't really get screwed. <laughs> you won't get screwed out of your money. Uh, you can actually trade for real money. So, you know, when a site goes down, you can just disperse your account and unless it goes down like abruptly like that, then I guess you wouldn't. But, you know, like if they say you have a week left, you could just disperse your money and get out of there. But, um, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. It, it, this really wasn't, I mean, I'm going to call it a rant because it was me ranting, but it was really just, I've already said this before, but it really, really was me telling you guys what's going on. The future of my 99 Gamer series is done completely done i haven't done another video in like two months maybe a month closer to two months but um and it's done it really that was the series finale whatever the last one was because i'm done i still have a few episodes that are on my computer but i i have there's no way i'll be able i, I i'll be putting that on youtube there's no way um and the ones that are on youtube right now i'm gonna keep up but i'm gonna switch the titles of the videos to something else because i don't want 99 gamers on any of my videos, I'm probably going to take down the thumbnail too, uh, so I have some work there. But anyway, there you go, that's the video. Um, 99 Gamers, screw people hard. If you want to really add to the legal action form, and you actually had a 99 Gamers account, you have to like, you know, kind of prove it with a username and all that. Um, go ahead, the link is in the description. Um, there you go, that's my two cents on 99 Gamers going down abruptly, and the pieces of shit that uh, ran the site. <sighs> Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.